Hello and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Today we've got some more cards that are coming out of the Judas pack which is wind attribute supported and these are going to support the Lyrical Lucinias. First card is Lyrical Lucinia Beryl Canary. It's a level 1 wind attribute winged beast type monster with 0 attack and 200 defense. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. One, if this card is in your hand, you can target one Lyrical Lucinia monster in your graveyard, special summon this card and that target, but you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except Xyz monsters. Two, an Xyz monster with a wind attribute that was summoned using this card on the field as material gains this effect. It gains 200 attack, also possession cannot switch. So for starters, this is actually quite decent. It lets you summon one of your other Lyrical Lucinias from the graveyard. That means you can use it as like a one turn, one card Xyz play into one of your rank one monsters, which I think most of the Xyz monsters are. The secondary ability is also not too conditional considering the Lyrical Lucinias are wind attribute Xyz monsters. The ability to gain 200 attack is neither here nor there. It's not that powerful. But the ability to stop your opponent from switching control of it is also very useful because they can be very devastating once they get going. Lyrical Lucinia Celeste Wagtail is a level 1 wind attribute winged beast effect monster. It's got 200 attack and 0 defense. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn each. One, if this card is special summoned, you can add one Lyrical Lucinia spell or trap card from your deck to your hand. Two, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one Lyrical Lucinia Xyz monster you control, attach this card to it as material. So with this, just as soon as it's special summoned, you're then able to search for a spell or trap card within the archetype. It's a decent rotor type of effect for their specific back row cards. Also keep in mind that this actually works with the previous card that was mentioned, because if this is just special summoned, it doesn't have to have to be from the hand or the deck, it can be from a graveyard as well, that instantly meets that condition. The secondary ability, you know, once it's been used, to be used as part of the attachments of your Xyz monsters means often I think they can attack a few more times and they gain a certain amount of boost by being attached with more Lyrical Lucinias. It's just advancing you that much further. Lyrical Lucinia Ensemble Blue Robin is a rank 1 wind attribute winged beast Xyz effect monster with 0 attack and 0 defense. It requires 2 or more level 1 monsters. The first effect, it gains 500 attack for each material attached to it. 2. If your opponent special summons a monster, you can detach 1 material from this card, then target 1 of those monsters and return it to the hand. And 3. If this card in your possession is sent to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, you can target one other Lyr Lyrical Lucinia monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. With this card, the more cards you have attached to it, the more powerful it becomes. The first effect, if you can get more than several monsters on it, you're having a 2000 attack monster, potentially even further than that with the abilities of some of the other ones that can equip to it. The secondary ability, I love that effect. Keep in mind it's not a once per turn effect, it's just whenever your opponent special summons a monster, you can detach a material, then just send that card back to the extra deck. It's beautiful as an effect, because so long as you have material, you can keep using this effect. It's going to be weakening your monster, but it's going to be preventing your opponent from getting what they need out on the field. Better to do that and put yourself in a position where you can re-equip cards, than to put yourself at a disadvantage where your opponent has got their field presence up, got their negations up, and then you can't really use this effect to get rid of those cards. So it's it comes down to the point where either you build this card first, you go first, and then you've got the advantage, or you let your opponent go first, they build up their board, and then you can't get this effect to kick into effect. The final effect is really going to be where your opponent is going to be annoyed by this card. You know, they're, they're not going to be able to instantly get over it if it's been enhanced by its first effect. If they try and summon anything from the extra deck, you're just going to bounce that card back. So the only other option they've got is to just get rid of this with a spell trap or monster effect, which means they're going to trigger this third effect to recover one of your other cards. Yes, it's still a disadvantage in that you're losing this big boss monster, but you're still recovering something that you might be able to turn into another version of this or as one of your other Xyz monsters. 
Lyrical Lucinia Primal Thrush is a rank 1 wind attribute winged beast exceeds effect monster with 0 attack and 0 defense. It requires 2 or more level 1 materials. The first effect is it gains 500 attack for each material attached to it. The second, once per turn you can detach one material from this card, then target one spell or trap card your opponent controls, and shuffle it into the deck. The third effect, at the start of the damage step, if another of your monsters battles, you can detach any number of materials from this card. Your battling monster gains 300 attack for each material detached until the end of this turn. So like the other Xyz monster, it gains 500 attack for each material attached. So if you're getting four or more, you're looking at more than a 2000 attack monster. The secondary ability is what makes it different and is actually quite useful if you're facing any deck that happens to be spell or trap heavy. I would say the one disadvantage is you can't really use it if your opponent is trying to reactivate that card. I mean, you're just going to trigger your opponent to activate anything that might end up in their deck, especially if it's got a double utility effect where it can be used from the graveyard as well. They're going to trigger it in response to this. The final effect is actually where I think this card shines the most. To be able to protect one of your monsters, you can just boost their attack points up by the number of materials you're detaching. It's a perfectly decent effect, but it does come at a massive cost. For the amount you're detaching, you're making this card lose more attack than what you're giving to one of your other monsters. But depending on the circumstances, you might be willing to forgo that, especially if it's something that might be key to your strategy later on. Lyrical Lucinia Bird Sanctuary is a continuous spell card with the effect, you can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn each. One, you can target two winged beast Xyz monsters you control, attach one of them and all material attached to it to the other as material. Two, if you control an Xyz monster, with three or more material, you can draw one card. I think this card is very versatile and actually helps to trade out your various boss monster exceeds monsters. For instance, depending on your circumstance, if you need a certain type of monster and you need a certain type of effect, by switching them to the other monster, you're then able to boost that card up to a point where they're able to do a lot more. The secondary ability just gives you that extra reward if you happen to have an Xyz monster with three or more material. Being able to draw consistently within your turn is always something that you want. And the final card is Lyrical Licinia Birds of a Feather. This is a normal trap card with the effect you can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn each. One, target one Lyrical Licinia monster you control. Change the attack of all face-up monsters your opponent currently controls to that target's. Also, their levels and ranks become 1. 2. When an opponent's monster declares an attack on your Lyrical Lucinia monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Your battling monster's attack becomes the same as that opponent's monster until the end of this turn. I love the design of this card. For starters, it really disrupts your opponent. If they're trying to go into various Xyz plays or ranks, then they're just going to have to, or even Synchro Summons, then they're going to have to use a lot more monsters to get into those resources because it shuts down their levels to just make them all one. It's also useful for the secondary effect because it just makes everything the same as one of your monsters. That means essentially you're crashing your monsters into your opponents, which might not be a bad thing if they've got particularly strong monsters and they've used a lot of resources versus your monsters where you've just normal summoned them. Okay, you've used your normal summon, but really other than that, you've not wasted anything. And it also discourages your opponent from attacking that monster, knowing that they're going to lose something they've heavily invested into. It does mention here as well that there are a number of reprint cards. I'll be going over that in the uh, in a future video as well. And I will leave that in the description for you to have a look at. I'll just mention quickly, those are Lyrical Lucinia Cobalt Sparrow. Lyrical Lucinia Sapphire Swallow, Lyrical Lucinia Assemble Nightingale, and Lyrical Lucinia Recital Starling. So as you can see now, we've got a total of four Xyz monsters, and we'll just review those as well.